Hi, my name is Doug DeSilvio. I'm on a commercial construction project, multi-family job, where we're going to be doing an adhesion test, a destructive adhesion test for a silicone sealant on brick-to-brick -brick substrates. This sealant was installed about two months ago, and this is an ASTM C1593 test. Uh, what I will be doing is taking you step-by-step -step of the procedures for doing a full adhesion test, a destructive test. First thing you want to do is make sure you have the right safety. Uh, when using utility knives or any type of sharp edge objects, make sure you have cut gloves. In this case, we're cutting out sealant, so I will be using a knife. So I'm going to put on my cut resistant gloves. My utility knife. It's always a good idea to start a little bit lower than eye level. What, what's going to happen after I cut the sealant out? I'm going to have a hole and a breach in the sealant, and it is a destructive test. So, a lot of people when they walk around the building are looking at eye level, they're not really looking down by their knees. So, it's going to be in a less conspicuous spot. You can do it a little bit lower around your belt line or around your knee line. Uh, so that later when you make that repair, that blending of the sealant material isn't right at eye level in an eye So I'm going to do this probably right around the three foot, two and a half, three foot height. First step I want to do is I want to cut on both sides of the brick substrate as close to the substrate as I can. And I'll start here at the top. And I'm going to cut about three inches about the length of the brick. Start at the same spot on the other side of the joint, as close as I can to the brick. Cut down three inches. Making sure that the bottom is the same, the same height. I cut across the top of the joint. And I want to pull that sealant out. All you want to do is pull down far enough to where you made your cut. You can notice that I cut one side further than the other. Make sure it's perfectly level across so you get an accurate test. Okay, so now we're level. We've got a three inch sample here. It's called a full tail test. It's testing for adhesion to the substance. What I like to do I like to mark the bottom of this joint. I like to mark the bottom of the joint right where I made that cut I'm using a marker. You mark that with a marker. That way you know when you pull this out where the, where the bottom of the cut was. You want to hold this at a 90 degree angle. You don't want to hold this down or up too high. You want to pull. Hold it about one inch and pull. 90 degree angle straight out. So what I'm looking for in this pull test is the elasticity and making sure that that sealant, when it tears, tears right down the middle within the sealant, which it did. It did not lose adhesion on either side of that brick substrate. It tore right down the middle of the sealant, which is called a cohesive failure, which is exactly what we want. So this sealant pull test passed. Get good, good elongation, seal it for cohesively, and the back rod and the profile of that joint, the, the depth ratio, the thickness of that seal is accurate. It's not more than a half of an inch, and it's not less than a quarter inch. So that was done properly. You get the hourglass profile on both sides of the sealant are nice and clean meaning they did an excellent job prepping that joint and cleaning it. And they used an open cell baccarat, so they used the correct baccarat for that silicone material. So this is a good idea to attach to your adhesion pull test report, uh, which we'll show you later how to fill out an adhesion test report after you've done this test. So this is good work, the tooling looks great, and overall great quality control. This is a sample report for an adhesion pull test. 
As you can see, the top of this form shows the general information for the project, the date that the poll test was performed, the time, the company that's performing the poll test, the project number, the project name, the location on the job site, what elevation and what level, what substrates, in this case brick control joint, and the employee that's performing the poll test. The second section for adhesion poll test procedure, it's a simple checklist. Make a knife cut across the sealant joint. You would simply check that off. Once you make your two cuts along each side of the sealant joint, close to the substrates, approximately three inches long, you check that off. Pull the sealant tab firmly from its bonded edge and pull at a 90 degree angle. Check that off. And then did the adhesion pull test pass or fail? And please note, if the sealant tore more than one inch from either substrate, that's automatically a fail. So you would simply just select from a drop-down menu, pass or fail. Then the last section of the report will ask some additional test result information. This is important information, so make sure it's factual. What sealant materials were used? Uh, in this case, it was a silicone material. As a sample, we chose Dow 790. What is the date of the sealant that was applied? This sealant was applied on July 13th. Who applied the sealant? You put down the employee's name. As a sample, we put down Manuel Avila. What is the date of the poll test? That would be today's date or the date that you actually did the poll test if you're filling the report out a separate day. Uh, please notice that the date that the sealant was applied is about a month later than the date that we actually performed the poll test, which means that we have at least 30 days cure time, which is proper for silicone sealant. Where on the job was the poll test performed? You can put in the elevation on the west and level one as the sample here. Was the substrate primed before the installation of the sealant? In this case, no. Uh, for the brick control joint, primer was not required for the silicone material. So it's either a yes or no from a drop down. Was the sealant tooled correctly? Yes or no? Does the sealant have the correct profile for the joint? Yes or no? Was the adhesion of the sealant acceptable? Yes or no? Next, was the sealant that was cut out replaced? It's always a good idea to make sure that you notify someone if you can't replace the sealant right away. And lastly, testing summary and additional comments. As a note to this comment, there was great adhesion with no issues. And it gives you the opportunity to attach five pictures from the poll test. And that's it.